Are you tired of just getting by at the end of the month, you look at your money and you only save 50 bucks? Or maybe you overspent by 500 bucks. I've been there. And at some point, I remember I read a book, it's called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I would suggest that you read it. And I know so many people ask you to read books and you're like, oh, here, another book, I get it. But this book, I promise you, so many people have attributed their success to this book. I remember I was working a job and every month I would only save 50 to 100 bucks. And I was like, man, is this all what it is? And I remember I called my dad, I said, is this normal? Is this normal for people to do this? Like what? I thought I was gonna make a lot of money. I came out of college, I have a college degree. I thought I was gonna make a lot of money, what's going on? He goes, yeah, some people only save 200 a month. Like you're lucky if you save 500, some people live paycheck to paycheck. And I was like, what? And this, like, what do you mean? What? Why is this occurring? Why are people just getting by? What? What? What are the people that are making all the money doing? What are the people that have that can go on the trips, go on the vacations? What are they doing? And, and and to be honest, I had to seek that answer from books, from other mentors, from from YouTube, from stuff like that. Learning, hey, what is the actual truth in this? Is it? Is it? Just me just working away and then someday I get a big promotion? What is the actual truth? And I read that book and it was about really setting up your life to what you actually want. Defining what you want and going after it with a burning desire, with motivation, and really defining it, writing it down. I wrote myself a contract. I have it somewhere. I don't know where it is, but I wrote myself a contract that in five years I was gonna make $100,000 in sales, right? And this is when I would, just came out and I ended up achieving that and um, now I'm well over that. I own a business and everything, but what happened was is it helped me define of, man, I am not okay with where I am. I am going to stop accepting just getting by. And so many people are accepting it and they complain about it but they don't do anything about it. It's time to wake up. If you're living paycheck to paycheck, you can't get ahead, what a lot of people do when this occurs is they start making external excuses. What they say is the government, if it wasn't for the government, the taxes, all that, that's not true. You can be successful no matter who's in office, no matter what law or tax has been placed upon you, you can be successful. Another thing they blame is their upbringing. They didn't get to go to school. They didn't get a college degree. That's why they're not successful. That's hogwash. I know tons of people that don't have a college degree that make a ton of money and own businesses and are very successful. They make so many excuses. They say if their boss, if they had a different boss, they'd be successful. If uh, if something didn't happen to them in their childhood, excuse, excuse, excuse as to why they are not where they are. They are just getting by because of somebody else. And I'm here to tell you today that if you continue to make excuses, no matter what the excuses are in your life, you will not find success. You will continue to get by because when you make excuses of other things, other events, other people, other situations, you can't control those. You can't control who's in office. You can't control who got Um, who's your boss sometimes, you can't control those things. But what's the number one thing you can control? You can control yourself. You can control your thinking. You can control your mindset. So what you do is you start taking responsibility. You are where you are because of the decisions that you've made. Whether you like them or not, it does not matter. You are where you are. So start accepting that and then saying, hey, I'm just getting by because of what I've accepted in my life. Everybody has standards. You know, I my standards, I continue to raise my standards. What is acceptable? I work out five days a week, no negotiation. It is happening, that's my standard. The standard will be met, and if it's not met, that is pathetic in my standard, so I make sure I do that. The standard is that I am going to continue to raise the revenue in my business by 40 to 50% every single year. That is the standard. I will find a way to do that no matter what. The standard is I'm going to continue to raise what I'm making every single year by 40 to 50%. That is the standard no matter what. It's time for me to figure it out. When you set the standard, which is goal, right? You could say goal. I like to say standard because it, the standard has to be met. If the standard is not met, then that means you're not living to your potential. So to me, you have standards in your life of what you've accepted, of who you are, and those are not okay. 
And you need to raise your standards of what you're gonna accept out of yourself. Because when you raise your standards of what is acceptable in your life, you start to say, I need to change. Okay, you're accepting that job that's paying you paycheck to paycheck. If you did not accept it and you raised your standards, you would start to find a way to get out of it. You would start to say, okay, what can I do right now to improve my situation, to set me up for another job, or to set me up for that raise at that company? So many people, they have the standard of what they are. Maybe your work ethic sucks. Maybe you don't think it sucks, but it does suck. Maybe the boss doesn't have the fortitude to tell you. Maybe he's fine with it because he knows that if you work harder, he's gonna have to pay you more, right? There's so many situations in this that a lot of people don't think about that because they're kind of delusional to who they really are. So many people, they think their situation is better than it really is. Or they're like, woe is me. Why is this happening to me? So many people, they're getting by. They're just getting by, not because of their circumstance, but it's because of their attitude. Their attitude is accepting just getting by. When you say, I am not gonna accept getting by, I am going to not accept it, it's unacceptable, and if it happens, if it continues to happen, it is pathetic, and I am going to change it. I am going to change it right now, and that's the standard, that's what's acceptable in my life. And that's how you stop just getting by. It doesn't matter what situation you are in your life, I completely understand. Let me take a pause here and say, I'm sorry for your situation. It is rough to look back at your life and see that maybe you didn't put forth the effort you should. Maybe things didn't go as well and you start to take responsibility for it and you see the knots in your stomach turn because you've been blaming everything else in your life. You've been blaming all the external situations, all the other people in your life, you've been blaming them. And now when you start shifting that blame from other people and you start taking it in, ooh, that's a heavy weight to bear. That's on your shoulders and it's heavy, but you got to deal with it because when you feel the weight of your uh, laziness, you feel the weight of your neglect, you feel the weight of your choices that you have made, that's a heavy weight. But the nice thing is what you can do is you could say, okay, leaving it behind, I'm taking the weight off. Now I'm going to start changing because it doesn't matter what situation you are in life. It doesn't matter where you're at. You could be in the worst situation ever, rock bottom. You can always improve. You can always go up. You can always improve your life. And so many people think that there is no hope. There is hope. There is hope in life. If you wake up in the morning and you wake up and you have a pulse, you can improve. You can get better. You can find success. All you have to do is change your mindset and sit down and define what you're going to do today to take action, to take another step towards success. And then you'll get there. This is exactly what I did. You know, I did not accept where I was. I left the job I was in, took a more riskier job in sales, learned how to sell, took another risky job for a startup because I networked because I put myself out there, the persistence, right? I said, hey, I, my standard is 100000 a year. That's my standard. Well, then I knew I wasn't going to get that on my current job, so I had to change. It forced me out of my cube, because I was actually working in a cubicle. It forced me out of my cubicle to say, if I'm going to achieve this, I have to do something different. I have to hit my standard, so I have to change something. And that is butterfly throughout my life to now, where the success, the money, the health, the wellness, everything, that as that standard mentality has changed throughout every aspect of my life to a point where now um, the expectations of what I'm doing, like I've had people say, how do you do all this? How do you, how do you run a business? Run a, run a, I'm not trying to brag. How do you run a business? Run a YouTube page? How do you have time for all that? I'm like, what do you do with your time? What, what standards do you have? Are you watching football all day Sunday? What are you doing? You don't need that much time. I have an hour of free time in my day. Outside of that, I'm working. You know why? Because I have goals and I have standards that I want to hit. And it makes me feel great about my life, that I'm contributing to something of bettering myself. Every time I've improved in my life, and I've said this multiple times, every time I've improved my life, I have felt better. So find happiness and improvement. Every time I've improved, think about it. Anytime you've improved in your life, you've probably been happier. So find improvement, and you'll find happiness. If you like this type of content, hit like and subscribe. I try to help people out with their business, entrepreneurial, and life journey. Be happy to help you out, and hit like, 
and subscribe. Thanks.